Welcome everyone to this live uh, streaming or live tutorial. So today we are going to talk about halftone. Uh, I know halftone is very popular in t-shirt printing because if you look, uh, look at a halftone uh, image, it's all black and uh, it doesn't cost um, material or ink because it's only black. But at the same time, you can capture an image or a portrait or a graphic just using halftone. So I'm um, just showing you this one. This is like a mock-up that I did. Um, I'm pretty sure you've seen some of the t-shirt design with halftone effect. And also even this one is two inks. So that's all white or just one color, white or black. So, but before going to the um, to the uh, the the image uh, change converting to image, we're just going to talk about um, how does it work, right? So first, uh, let's just say I'm gonna create this um, circle, this circle uh, half tone, and color it with any color. So how I did this is I created a circle. Hold down your control key to uh, make it a perfect circle. And make sure that you click on black and then right mouse click here to remove the outline. If you're not sure about the properties of your, of your object, your text or graphic, take a look at this. I call this the status bar or property bar. You can see right now that I have a fill of black and then I have no outline, right? So the next thing you have to do is you go to um, effects and then you go to blur and then you go Gaussian blur. So once you go to Gaussian blur, cause see this one here, that's the effect of the Gaussian blur. So I'm gonna bump up the Gaussian blur to say, um, say like that, right? And then I'm gonna click okay. And then right now, right now, if you if you look at this um, this image here, it is not grayscale. It's still RGB. So what we're gonna do is we're going to change this to to RGB. So you go bitmap, uh, convert to bitmap, and then um, instead of sorry, I want sorry, I better go to view and then wireframes. I'll make sure that I pick the whole the whole image so here okay so i did choose that image okay i'm gonna go to view enhance view and then i'm going to uh, click on bitmap convert to bitmap and i'm going to go to grayscale grayscale and it's 8-bit and click ok okay so now now, since I made it a grayscale already, then I can convert it to a, a half tone. So you go to effects and you go to color transform and then click on half tone. So once you click on half tone, you're going to have this dialog box. And I'm just gonna reset that. And then see this dots, um, maximum dots radius. So the bigger the radius, uh, the more prominent is the half tone effect that and then I click say for example I'm satisfied with that I just click OK but since again since this is grayscale if you look at the property bar that's grayscale so for uh, for printing in t-shirt like one color printing that's not the real um, the, the right way to do it it has to be only one color grayscale could be different shades of, of black which is gray, so for example here, you got gray there. So what we're gonna do is, we're, and also you cannot control, you cannot change the uh, change the uh, the color. So if I right mouse click on this one, it won't change, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert it again to a bitmap, but instead of grayscale, because we did it grayscale, we're, we're gonna go to black and white one bit. It means to say it's one color only. So we're gonna click on black and white one bit and then click OK. And now this is um, this is one color. 
So if I'm going to change the um, change the color of the half tone, it's going to be reversed. If you take a look at the properties here, the properties is the fill is white, and then the outline is black, which means to say it's in the reverse, right? So if I change the outline to a different color, say red, then this one the half tone will change to red. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to right mouse click on the red here to make the outline, then it changes to red, right? Now, if I'm going to move this on top of this one, let's see what would happen, okay? So since this is, this is again, this is not acceptable because what if I want to make designs and overlap the designs? But take a look at the property bar here. The property bar says that uh, the fill of my image or my graphic here is white. What if I remove the fill? So you go to your no fill here. So you click on that and there you go. So now I can overlap it. So basically it's transparent now, now right? So that's, uh, so that's how it works. So now you can, uh, let's just say this one here, okay? So what I did here is I made a gradient fill. Okay, so let's say I'm gonna create a rectangle here. And then I'm going to color it black again. And I'm going to remove the outline, so right mouse click here. And then I'm going to, instead of going to my um, interactive fill, I can just even go to my transparency tool. And then I click and drag going up, right? Let's just say like that. Okay. Say like that, right? So now... Um, so the next thing we have to do is we have to convert this to grayscale, right? Because this right now is not a grayscale, it's just a rectangle, it's a vector image, and uh, vector image with a transparency. So you go bitmap and then convert to bitmap, and then you go uh, grayscale and click OK. Okay, I'm not going to apply blur because this one has a gradient already, so I'm okay with that, right? So now I go to my effect and then go to color transform and then go to half tone. And once you go to half tone, then you can change the effect now of the half tone. You can see the half tone now, right? Say I'm happy with that, I'm just gonna click okay here. Now, once again, this is still a grayscale looking at the uh, the property bar here, it says gray bitmap grayscale on layer one. So I have to change this to um, to uh, one bit, one bit bitmap. So con bitmap, convert bitmap, and then you go 300 DPI, that's fine. And I'll make it one bit color. And then black and white one bit and click OK. And then now, as you can see, if I'm going to overlap it here, I can see that if I remove the fill, okay, with no outline, it's going to be transparent. And then also the outline, if I change the outline color, say I'll make it blue or whatever color I want, right mouse click here, and it's going to be, so basically it acts like a vector image now, but actually it's not. Okay, so we are going to leave that concept there. And then let's look into this uh, text that I did here. So uh, let's say I'm going to type in letter A. I'm just going to type in my name. And then I'm going to, um, again, uh, when you're doing this effect, start with black because black is, is best when you create a half tone. So let's just say, I don't want that. Uh, let's just say this one here. And then so, so uh, so obviously I, I did a, um, a blur effect first, right? So you go to effects and then click on blur and then Gaussian blur. And okay, that's too much of a blur. Uh, but if you want that kind of style, go ahead. You know, it's, it's really up to you. Uh, let's just say I want, uh, I'm just gonna experiment here. Let's just say this kind of blur and I'm going to click OK. Okay. So again, this is not 
this is this is not a grayscale yet, so we have to make it a grayscale. So you go to bitmap, call convert to bitmap, and then make sure it's grayscale eight bit, and click OK. And then we can do a half tone. So go to effect color transform half tone, and then let's see how very nice, very nice effect. Now, um, you can also try this black. I don't know what's the use of this black, but I guess there is because once you you change the slider, I think it changes the angle of the uh, of the half tone, but you know it's up to you to to experiment on that. And then obviously you can make it smaller, make it bigger. I like the big one because it's it's better looking and then click OK. Again, we're not done with this because it's a bitmap. It's a grayscale. It's a grayscale bitmap. We can't change the color there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to bitmap, convert to bitmap, and then one bit. And once you click on one bit, click OK. Now it's um, you can change the color now. So I'm going to right mouse click on, say, green here. And then I'm going to remove the fill, right? by just yeah clicking on this one to remove fill and there you go so now you can put it in t-shirts and because uh, that will be considered one color especially when i make it black okay so now let's go to photographs here um what i like in photographs is that you just have to make one ink and then that's that's good enough to represent a portrait, but you only use a half tone. If I zoom in here, all of these are half tone, and it looks like I've seen a lot of Photoshop tutorials in doing this one. Oh, they have a lot of steps, a lot of layers. But I've done this in Corel Draw, and it it's really easy to do this in Corel Draw. So let's go with this one here. So. Um, so this is a grayscale, a photo of Elvis, and the first thing uh, you have to do is you have to bump up the contrast. Because if you don't bump up the contrast, if you look at the image of Elvis here, see this one, the, um, the white here, that's the highlight of the portrait, right? And if you look at this one, there's no contrast, there's no highlight here. I mean, it would work, but it won't look nice, right? Okay, so we click on the image and then you go to effects and then you go to adjust and you go to um, brightness and contrast. I'm going to reset that. So we're going to play around with the contrast. So I'm going to bump up the contrast. You see the forehead here until I see some white, uh, white uh, highlight there. Now, if it doesn't show up, you can also bump up the brightness of it. Say this one, I can see it now, and then probably I'm just gonna move the move the contrast, and then you can also uh, move the intensity. I would I would go. I think this is good enough because you got the highlight here, and I'm gonna click OK. Okay, so we have the grayscale here already. Sorry, this is not a grayscale. This is the original photo. We just like bump up the contrast. So now we're going to go to bitmap and then convert to bitmap. We have to do this before going to the half tone. So click on grayscale 8 bit and then click OK. And then we apply the effects. So click on effects go to color transform and then half tone and then in half tone here uh, you can play around with the the dots say for example like that smaller dots bigger dots I go smaller dots and then click OK very nice so now we are going to because I, if I put this on a shirt, say for example, I'm going to remove this one here. I'm going to put this on a shirt. Okay, so shift page up for, uh, put it on top. 
Okay, I know it's transparent, but I can't change the the colors, right? I can't I can't change Elvis. I mean the color of the ink, right? So that's why we have to go to bitmap and then convert to bitmap, and then uh, make sure this one is black and white one bit, and then click OK. And then of course, if you see this one, that means to say that our fill is white. So just remove the fill by clicking on this. And then you can change also the, I'm going to right mouse click here, which it's not really a good effect if you have lighter, lighter uh, ink for a portrait. But I'm just showing you that it is editable now. The color is editable. I mean, for this one here, for this text, I also did the same effect. So I think this one you can change the colors, I mean a lighter color, say right mouse click here and there, and uh, there you go. Okay, so I hope you like it and just play around with the halftone. Uh, like I said, the title of my, <laughs> of my tutorial, one live tutorial is converting any photo to halftone because Practically speaking, you can convert it to any uh, on a, any photograph to half tone. Uh, just make sure that if it's colored, just make it grayscale. You know, convert. Say for example, this is a colored image. You just go to bitmap, convert to bitmap, and then click on grayscale, so that you can apply the effect half tone, and then make sure to convert it to one bit color. Okay, I, ho I hope you liked my tutorial. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Um, and if you subscribe already, thank you for watching. Uh, please turn on the notification bell so that you'll know that I have new tutorials. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.